Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the Boss of Random here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use all of the editing tools for the editor Screencast O Matic. If you don't know what Screencast O Matic is, it's a screen recorder and editor which I use in, for every single video that I make. This is why I use Screencast O Matic. It's really easy. Unfortunately, though, I can't really record um, how the screen recorder works, but I can show you how to edit your videos. So, once you go ahead and done everything recorded, like it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, it takes you over here. Keep in mind, everything you see in this video is with the Pro Recorder, so I would recommend buying it first if you haven't already. And then come back to this video. It's only $18 a year, so I mean, it's pretty good. But yeah, once you're done recording a video, it should take you here. And then what you're going to do is you want to go ahead and click on the video that you want to do. I just recorded this just like two minutes ago, so I could go ahead and do it. And as you can see, there's a ton of options you can do. You could upload a screencast automatic, you could save it as a video file, and then, or you could upload it to YouTube. We're going to go ahead and do edit though. Because I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So you could. Let's go ahead and just go. Well, we're going to start off with stuff right here. So you could edit the <clears throat> the actual size of it. If you want to make it 720 HD, just go ahead and click that. And boom, it's 720. It is now HD, ready for HD on YouTube. And you could also add music. You could import your own music, or you could just see stock music, which is what I do. And there is tons of music, like there's epic, look. Or if you want something a little bit more chill out, like that. Let's go ahead and go with that one though, and you would press import, and it would import the audio right away. And it would go throughout the whole thing, so now if I go ahead and press play on it, there's the music. And everything's all set in stone and good. And you can also do it to where you can show your cursor or not. If you just click right here though. It takes off your cursors, so now you never see my cursors. It goes cursor no matter where you're at. Or you could click it again. Let's see, look, there's my cursor right there. Or you could click right here. You could only highlight to when you left click. Or you could highlight it when you click in the middle. Highlight it when you left click, highlight it when you right click. Or you could press show no. Or this is just for the highlight if you want. So say, like, if you click, then it would highlight what you clicked. Or you could go ahead and go right here and in an insert a webcam. Um, if you do have the webcam recording, anyways, you can show if it's hidden or not. You can also add captions. So you could do the title, English, captions from bio. You can start with blank option captions and start. And then you can just add captions. So if, like I said, hey, what's going on, guys? It's the boss of random. Then I put, hey, what's going on? Why is it not? Oh, okay, there we go. And it shows up the captions right there. It's pretty self-explanatory too. Um, not too much to do there. You can go ahead and take it off like that too. And let's go ahead and start with the tools. So if you click right here, also I just know I think I'm a, I think I called myself the boss of random at the, at the beginning of this video. My bad. I'm gonna say boss of tutorials because it's my second channel. Yeah. Uh, oops. Okay, so you can go. And if you press tools right away, the first one you see is cut, and I'm just going to go down the rows. So you could easily cut whatever you want. Say if I wanted to get out from here to there, you could go ahead and test it to make sure that's where you want to cut. You can press play, and then if you alert to the spot where you're at, you can press pause. And then you can go down, and it should automatically stop right there. And it'll highlight it so you know. And you can preview the cut too, so it like goes there. And see how it jumps ahead. You can preview it before you want to do it. And if you want it, then press OK. If you don't want to do it, then press cancel. Let's go ahead and press OK though, just to do it. So now it goes ahead and jumps into the next part. And let's go into the next one. So you can do copy. So you can select a video of to copy, copy and paste. So say you wanted to get from there to there. Go ahead and preview that. Alright. Now you can go ahead and copy that, right? Okay. Now you could go anywhere you want. You could do insert paste, and you could do that, and then it'll put back what you copied to kind of replay again. So that way, this is really convenient for when you're like, okay, well, I'll go back and do this again. Instead of actually having to go back yourself, you could just replay that same video clip, and then there it is. So let's go ahead and press OK, because why not? And there it goes. It's inserting. It's all done now. And let's go ahead and go to. Next one, hide. So you can hide your cursor webcam. It's basically the same thing here, so you not really need to know about that. You did not mean to press that. 
and then you go next one insert this one is really cool I use probably I probably use this one the most first one new recording so you can make a new recording so say you wanted to go off and do another recording inside this video so say I said like um, say you're recording this um, like on Monday or something right and then you have to leave somewhere you get to stop recording entirely and then once you come back again you could start and do a new recording and it'll insert that recording in the same place and yeah it's really useful to do that existing recording you could do where if you click on the existing recording it'll pull up all the recordings you have so you could insert any recording that you want there so you could even insert the same recording you want and let's go ahead and preview it there we go and it insert the same recording that we just had there and let's go ahead and press ok because why not and this probably wasn't a good idea Dang it. Okay, I'll get back to you guys after it's done copying. <laughs> okay, it didn't copy because I, I quit it. And then if you go to insert, you could do a pause to where you uh, kind of hold the video and all of that good stuff. So where if you wanted to like pause it in and like zoom in, you can easily do that. So pause, it stays there. And then you can easily like zoom in and be like, okay, go here or do something like that. It's easily what you could do with that. Or you could go in here, use insert. Use video file, and this will go ahead and pick any file, any that's a video, M MOV file or MP4. I think it's those, and it just picks up any video. So say you wanted to do like your intro or something, you can go ahead and put that at the beginning of your video, and then it'll play it for you. So you can preview, and there you go. It'll play your intro for you or whatever you want. In the video file, and that's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and press OK. There we go. Okay, now if you want to do the next one, which is paste recording, well, it's basically what you did with the copy. So you can just paste the recording again. You, we are kind of already went over that again. Um, narrate, you just kind of narrate your voiceover. So say you wanted to go here, and this was like your background footage, and you didn't record your voice, and you wanted to do, say, a tutorial. Then you could be like, okay, well, you can click this, and you could go where you want to narrate over. So if you just wanted to say like from here, um, then you can go ahead and go right here, and then you can start, and then you can just go ahead and do that. You can even put in a webcam if you want, but I'm not going to because you guys will never see my face, haha. And you guys could go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna do it though because I'm already recording and I don't want that to mess up. That one's pretty self-explanatory though. Images. This is when you get some of the good stuff. So you can do overlay and go to image, and this is really good. So if you want to do like um, something like this, to where you do a subscribe and tell your subscribers to subscribe, uh, you could just put that anywhere you want. You could use these to resize it, and then you could just move it to wherever you want. And then once you got it where you want, you could also zoom in using this little thing here. So if you wanted to zoom in just on like right there, you can. But if you want to have it there, it's already automatic, and you could even crop it. Uh, it's basically the same thing as um, the zoom. So I don't. No, while you do that, and you could edit the style, so you could have a shape, you could make it like that. You could just do whatever you really wanted with this. You could add a shadow, a fuzzy, solid, and if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it to where, um, how it kind of just pops up and like fades in, then you're gonna want to keep it on the default section, which it is always at, uh, fade in, fade out. But if not, then if you wanted to do it just like as a joke, like you know how sometimes they pop up those little JPEGs in videos, and to where it's like if you say like peanut butter or something, just pop up like a, pe a peanut butter, you do something like that, and you could go instead of making it fade, you could do a pop, which kind of makes it go like, pop in like, like that, and then you can have it fade away, and then and then it'll leave. bye bye, or you could do it to where it also there's no transition whatsoever and it just kind of leaves so let's go ahead and preview that and then it'll leave once the time is up and it just disappears so I would recommend each of them have their own thing I'd say probably if you want to do like subscribe or something or tell them to like to, to like um, the video then I would recommend doing the either the pop or the fade or if you wanted to do it just like where it's a funny image where you put it in there then I would recommend just doing the none the no transition because it, I that likes the best and oop I didn't mean to do that I didn't mean to do that and the next one overlay you could do a blur so if you want to do the blur you could blur out 
say if you wanted, like, say this was private information that I didn't want him to see, you do that there and just place that right there so no one can see it. And like that. You could even have, like, give it a little animation. You could make it fade. But I don't recommend it because obviously if you're going to board something, I mean, there's a reason why you're boring it. And I wouldn't recommend doing that. So you could preview that. So like it like, kind of blurs out and we see your information on the side. And then it blurs back in at the right time when you want, or when that thing went away that you didn't want to see. And then the next one, let's go to that. It is outline. Okay. So if you wanted something to pop out, say you wanted this video in particular to stand out. You want to put that right there and just kind of go around it just kind of give it a little outline you can change the style of it too you can change the shape you can make it around I don't recommend it though <laughs> unless you're like doing something round change the color of it so you can make it white if you want you to blend in let me get black to stand out and then you can make it bigger like you can make it as thick as you want you can go all the way over here <laughs> ah, coughing so we can't see anything I recommend just keeping it at the normal though, and I can't move it. There we go. There we go. You can also give it a little shadow too. You can give it fuzzy, solid shadow. I recommend just doing none. I think that looks the best. And you could do it in an out animation as per usual. Probably fade. Maybe. Let's let's see. Yeah, you can preview that right there. And it kind of pops in. I recommend obviously doing it shorter, which you can do. Um, for all of these that I showed you, you guys could make it to where it's a smaller amount of time so you could say you wanted it to come in only right there and then wanted to leave after the video was done being shown so you want it to go about right there go right there preview that now okay that's that's good enough I, I'll, I'll take that <laughs> and then the next one I believe is arrow, yeah. Okay. So you can add in a little arrow, you can change the color of it, you can change the thickness of it, you can change the shadow, and you can change how it comes in, as for all of them. And this is just if you wanted to point to something, say you wanted it to point like to this video right here, you really want people to see this video, you would do like that. And you can even point to where the arrow's direction is with this one, you can change the length over here, with this one, the length of the arrow. You really do it here too, but I don't know, I just like this one to just kind of control it. You can do it anywhere side, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and press done, because, I mean, I'm going to delete this video anyways. This video was really not important. Not this video that I'm making, but this one. <laughs> okay, next one in overlay. Overlay is a big one. It's highlights, so if you wanted something to uh, stand out. Say I wanted this comment to stand out. Then you can go ahead and highlight it there. You can even add a zoom to where it kind of zooms in on it. And you could edit it like how opacity just means how transparent everything else is. So if you wanted everything else to be like really not there to where you can't see it, and this to be really highlighted, then just put it as high as you want. If you want it kind of, then just you know, just it's a prefer personal preference how you want it. I'm just gonna leave it like right there and just do preview. Yeah. See so it kinda highlights that little part there. And then it goes away. Alright, next one. Uh, ooh, text. Okay, this is a fun one. Text one is one that I didn't even get in after a while, but I kind of got the used to it now. So, um, when you first start off with it, it's not transparent. It's not a transparent background. Um, if I could type. So, when you start off, you can change the text color. So, you can change it to whatever fits your needs. You can even change the font. But when you first start it off, it is, it looks something like that, and that, there we go. But if you don't want uh, the shape to be like that, and you just want the text, then change it to none. If you want it to be like kind of rounded at the edges, change it to that. I recommend doing none though, it looks the best, unless you want it to do like um, a little thing. And if you have it as a uh, box, then you could also make it a little pointer, so it's like a little chat box, like look, someone's saying hi YouTube, hello. And you could also uh, change to which direction this thing goes. And you can change the length of this little pointer. So if you wanted this little villager right here to say uh, hi YouTube, then you could do it like that. And you could edit the length here to make it look really cool. So look, hi YouTube. And then you go away. 
<laughs> Alright, next one, please. Uh, paste. This is paste in, um, the, the overlay that you had in. So, say you had a, <clears throat> say you had like an image or something, or text or something that you had pasted, or copied, I mean, this would just paste it into your video. The replace is pretty cool too though, so you could replace a video. So say you just wanted to um, keep the audio and the keep the audio and the music, but you just wanted to replace the video for like if you were like talking over a video or something, you can do it there and then you do start and oop well I can't do it because my recorder is already open. Obviously, but that's basically how it works. So say you wanted you didn't want this video to go over what you're talking about, and you can go ahead and replace video and then it would go ahead and replace the video but it would keep the audio and your narration over it so it just replaces the video you can just do freeze frame to where it just pauses the video entirely and you can go so where you want to just keep it like right there you can go ahead and do that and it just kind of freezes on the little part and it doesn't move until after the thing goes and it just uh, keep uh, it keeps up with the vid of the video and it looks really really cool if you wanted to uh, tell people to do something and they didn't see it the first time you could get kind of freeze frame instead of doing like a little pause moment then you can just do that transition or not transition this is the speed up so if you wanted to speed something up real quick then you can go ahead and say you want to do that you could do it as fast I think it goes up to 12 times faster no 10 okay so you could do it like a little time lapse just a quick little time lapse like it speeds up it just kind of shows you how to do it. This would be good for a tutorial or like a time lapse sort of thing. Uh, like as a gaming time lapse. Um, yeah, I could see a good use for that. And you could also do the same thing as vice versa. You could do the same um, type of thing, except instead of speeding up, you could slow it down. So if you wanted your viewers to really be in depth of what's going on, then you could kind of slow down the video so they know exactly what's going on. Let's go ahead and make this one 10 times slower because we did that the other one. So after that, you kind of slow it. This is way too slow. I can't handle this. <laughs> All right, you get the gist of that one. If you wanted to like slow it down for your viewers, if you did a, um, if you did something important, you could kind of slow it down and show it to them again. Transitions are really cool. So we're gonna go back to the cut here that we made and see how it kind of goes there. So you're gonna want to pause it right about the transition. Then you want to go here, add a transition. And you could do whatever transition you want. It should show kind of a little. There it is. So it shows a little preview when you hover over it of what the transition is going to look like. So go ahead and go with the diamonds. And you could do what direction you wanted to go in. And then you just preview this thing. So yeah, it kind of fades into the next scene. And it looks really cool. Uh, you could use it to do some cool transitions. Like you could even make it longer if you wanted to or shorter to kind of fit the way it looks so let's go ahead and check it out yeah that's definitely one of my favorite ones I really do like that one and then we're coming up on the last one volume it's really self-explanatory so if you wanted to make a uh, part of your video really loud with your voice because like music went over it or something you can go ahead and go here and then you could raise say you wanted the music to be higher you can go ahead and raise that volume See how it's going up there? You can raise it down. So you can raise that volume as size as you want to. Let's preview that. So see how it gets louder right at that point. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be how to be about it. I'm, I am can't even talk anymore. But that's all of the edits that are in Screencast Automatic. It is an awesome, awesome editor. Uh, this video was kind of a little bit different. And, well, I mean, I do tutorials. I don't know what I'm talking about different. Anyways, guys, make sure to go subscribe to the main channel because I post gameplay videos there where you will see mainly all probably well not all but probably most of these edits anyways guys if you did enjoy this edit video or not this edit video this tutorial video make sure to crush that like button guys and also if you wanted to um kind of edit how where it comes in and goes out pretty sure I already showed you guys this but if you wanted to edit where it goes in and when it comes out you just lose those little things there and it goes exactly where you want it to do Anyways, guys, peace out.